Hello! Okay, so I'm back. I'm finally here as a talking head. I know the animals and the scenery have been a bit more pleasing to the eye than this, but hey, I'm back and I'm back to talk to you. And this week, I want to talk to you about why I'm a miserable git in the lead up to Christmas. I want to talk to you about sustaining excitement. So, um, in 1986, uh, the classic British TV puppet show Spitting Image released the brilliantly titled compilation album Spit In Your Ear. On it, they featured a sketch starring the incomparable Chris Barry, who most people know uh, from Red Dwarf and the British Empire, impersonating commentator David Coleman. Now, in the sketch, Coleman is commentating on a race, but builds up to finish line excitement far too early and is unable to make it to, to the end of the final lap. It's far funnier than my description, so I'm going to pop it in here. Copyright policies allow. And as they approach the bell, it's Co 1, Cram 2, and over 3. And what an extraordinary race this is it turning out to be. That's the bell! And there's the bell! And oh my word, I've gone too soon. I've become hysterical with an entire lap to go. I can't possibly keep up this pace. And surely this is a mistake. Surely now I'm more experienced than this. They're at the 300 mark and I've reached fever pitch and there's nowhere to go. Disaster for Coleman. I'm going to finish with 200 metres of the race left and I'm only becoming comprehensible. But Uncle PD, I hear you cry. How does that relate to being a miserable old Scrooge like you? Well, it's quite simple. I love Christmas. While, yeah, I find the people a living nightmare, and I find it exceptionally hard to get involved, I love the cosiness and a society on the surface working together, having a base level of kindness and goodwill, enjoying themselves and generally being better than they are the rest of the time. Fine, there's my amplified feelings like annually of isolation, but rejection, but... It's a nice fantasy world to see through the window of humanity. It's a Christmas card come to life and it, it, it's cosy. But like the Coleman Barry hybrid, I simply cannot sustain that level of, uh, of excitement and interest required for the length of time which capitalism now asks of me. Being a musician, actor, general performer, I've always had to get my head into the Christmas lead time early in order to prepare for concerts, song releases and most recently pantomimes, rehearsals for all of which start in late September, early October. But I never minded because it was just the performance on which I was working, it was the next thing I was doing. But it also implanted the little advanced warning in my brain that the Christmas season was approaching and I'd better start to get myself ready. There are a ton of memes that go around this time of year, and I've put some of my favourites in. But there's one that sticks out, and it's the meme of two types of people when the festive decorations appear in the shops. But honestly, I'm both of them. The Christmas build for me starts on the 1st of December. I like to put up my tree and my lights by the first weekend, and I can spend those three and a bit weeks getting more excited in the lead up to the day and the celebration and all that surrounds it. So if things are building from the 1st of December, it would make sense to me for festive items to appear the second or third week of November. These days I do 90% of my shopping in Black Friday, so it would seem a sensible time. Put the items in the stores mid-November, start the songs, adverts, etc. at the beginning of December, then I'm Will Farrell. But when there are Christmas aisles at the end of September, when stores ignore Guy Fawkes Night and put Halloween decorations next to the fucking tinsel, although as Halloween becomes more an event in England, again capitalism, it is keeping Christmas moderately at bay, um, when Wizard are assaulting my ears for two straight months, I am absolutely and unshakably Theoden. No, Wizard, I do not wish it could be Christmas every fucking day. Far, far from it. Because it devalues it. 
By the time we get to the day itself, we are all thoroughly sick of it. Yeah, fine, we may have bought a mince pie in September for the novelty of it, and because, you know, mince pies. But heaven forbid you buy them then for December. They expire weeks previously. So let me underline that for you. We are being sold Christmas so fucking early that the foodstuffs expire well before the festive season. So we stop caring. We, we lose the excitement. In an increasingly secular society, more and more people have no understanding of or connection to Easter. They just know it's got something to do with chocolate eggs and rabbits because that's what they're sold when Easter items go on sale in January alongside the New Year, New You weight loss propaganda. Something which will never make me not want to bang my or someone else's head against a brick wall. And all to sell one or two more reshaped dairy milks. We cannot care for that long. Like Coleman, we burn out long before the end of the final lap. And it's happening with everything now. Um, a couple of years ago, we had a warm spell in August. And I needed to buy some shorts. I had difficulty in finding anything. Because all the summer clothing items had gone on sale in April. And by the end of July, we were being sold autumnal cardigans and back-to-school essentials. Never mind what the actual weather patterns are these days, or the reality of life. Um, that is the schedule to which capitalism adheres. I, I've not had normal TV for probably a decade now. Um, I don't go out all that much, and I don't listen to the radio all that often. So when I do tune into NT Life... The assault by a barrage of con constant screaming adverts is borderline abusive. And half the time, I can't even work out what the fuck I'm being ordered to buy. I mean, we hear about people's attention spans being eroded and minuscule. And as such, thank you for still being with me at this point. Yet, we ask people to stay hyped for Christmas... For three straight months. It's a quarter of the sodding year. And yet those of us who simply can't do that. And freely admit we can't do that. Are told we're miserable old Scrooges. Fuck I'm worried about putting this video out at the beginning of November. Because I'm worried about buying into the early schedule and pissing people off. But hey at least I'm doing it after Halloween. So that's fine. So uh, look if you're feeling ground down by early Christmas advertising and you find that you're enjoying it less and less with each passing year, if you find that by the big day you're listless and exhausted and just wanting it to be over, here is a little tip for you, a life hack from Uncle PD. You can ignore it. You can ignore it. Fine. Make your preparations and your plans. And Okay, last year and this year have been pretty different, so buying and freezing food's understandable. But don't feel pressured to be excited the whole time. They're playing Mariah Carey headphones. Christmas Isle, skip it. Only able to buy pants with amusingly placed mistletoe? Fuck it, yours will last until January. And if they don't, bill me for a new pair. It's your life. It's your Christmas. Do not let them ruin it for you. And maybe, j just just maybe, if we don't buy the crap so early, maybe we won't be sold it so early. But hey, if you are one of those psychotic folks who can be on a yuletide huzzah from September to January, and you encounter one of us miserable sods who just want to enjoy December, what do I say? Be a little kind. That's all. Just a little kind. Merry early Christmas. Bye.